The next one is about the speed editor from DaVinci Resolve. This is from Blackmagic. This is a device that works with DaVinci Resolve on the desktop and it even works here with the iPad. And they finally gave us a couple of more functions with the speed editor now with DaVinci Resolve 20. So next point is live override now supports edit keys and search dial. So when you have a speed editor, you can actually use the speed editor with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I have a separate masterclass about the DaVinci Resolve speed editor. So even if you're already a little bit more advanced with DaVinci Resolve, you don't need the full masterclass. You can get the speed editor masterclass and learn everything about the speed editor. But by the way, in my masterclass about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad from beginner to pro, I also include the speed editor masterclass. So if you get the masterclass for DaVinci Resolve iPad, you will also get the speed editor masterclass. And the the big plus of that one is everything you learn here applies even to DaVinci Resolve on the desktop. So it doesn't matter if you use it on the desktop or you use it here because it works exactly the same on the iPad and the desktop. So for example, if you have the speed editor, you can do a lot of things that it is designed that you work in the cut page and you don't need a mouse, you don't need the screen, you can do everything here with the speed editor. And on the speed editor, there is one function that is called the live override. This is this one here. When you activate this one, you will see all of your different clips. And the idea is if you have multi clips, like let's say I have a couple of cameras at the same time recording me, and now I can in the edit very easily go from camera one, two, three, four, and then for example here hold one, one, and then just write, this is why it's called write, I can use now the search dial and write on top here of my timeline. This works for every camera angle. This was already included. What they now did, if I come back in here, here I can go to source, then I'm seeing my source material, I can go to timeline, I can control my timeline. So let's undo, here's even a button for undo. So I undo this one. So the new functions, these functions here on the top, this row is to add your clips from your source bin. So you have something like smart insert, you can append and all of these different things. And what they now included, you have now an additional function if you press and hold the button and use the search dial. For example, if I use smart insert, hold and press, and now use the search dial, I can now write as well like the write overwrite here on this function. And all of the new functions that they now added is always press and hold and you have to be in the source tape window. So not in the timeline. It doesn't work if you are here in the timeline because then in the timeline, it will automatically smart insert. So what is smart insert? Let's. Let's undo this one here and undo this one here. Here in DaVinci Resolve, you see these little arrows. These are the so-called smart indicator. Depending where my playhead here is, the next smart indicator, this is where it will bring in my clips. So for example, if I use this one here, smart insert, it will bring in the clip here on that position. And now with the override, the same. I go into the source material, I place my playhead here. So that means the smart indicator is here. If I press in smart insert and hold it, and I start drawing, it's now drawing here on the smart indicator and ripple deletes or ripple extends the rest of my timeline. If I stop finished, I just release my button and done. The next one is append. When you use append, that means that your source clip will come on the end of your timeline. Undo this one. And if I press and hold it, I can do the exact same here with the search dial. I can now draw at the end of my timeline. And when I'm done, I just release everything and that's on the end of my timeline. So the next one is called ripple override. If I use this button here, it will override the clip that is at the moment here at the timeline. So if my timeline is here on that position and I now press and hold ripple override, it will even show me it marked now the clip here. This is the clip I will now overwrite. And now if I use the search dial, I can start overwriting that clip. The next button is called the close up. If I use this button, it will put my clip here on top on the next track and will zoom in at the same time. So if I use this just regularly, boom, there is a clip now here and it's zoomed in. Let's undo this one. If I do the overwrite, so I press and hold this one, I will do the same just instead I can now draw. I have to be in the source, that's very important. So press and hold and now I can draw on here and it will draw something here in my timeline with 2x zoom in. So the next button is called the place on top. So this one will always put the clip on the top of the next clip that we have here in here. So if I go here now to source and I go here place on top, press and hold and use my search dial, I'm drawing on top where my playhead was. So, and the last one is this button here and that basically, if you press and hold this one, what it will try to do, the clip that it finds here on top, it will try to match the timeline code 
if the timeline code is not the same, it will give you this error message that the playhead is just glowing red. Okay, so once again, the speed editor is designed to make you a very fast video editor. I think this is an amazing tool, especially also for the iPad because it works with the iPad. I have a masterclass for the speed editor if you want to learn that one, or if you want to learn DaVinci Resolve with all the bells and whistles from the beginner to pro, even the advanced stuff, then get the masterclass for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad because the speed editor masterclass is part of that masterclass as well. So definitely check out the link in the description. Another cool thing that they now added here to DaVinci Resolve 20 is when you come here to the bottom you have this little icon here that you can now click and if you have your speed editor connected or even yet say for example the micro color panel because that one also works with the iPad now you see both devices and how much battery they have and that they are connected 